Are you looking forward to, to Bogany? I think it's very good school. It's better than other schools because there's less people in a class, so they'll, you know, you have a teacher can spend more time with you. Callum does have Asperger's. Life 18 months ago was very, very grim. It couldn't have been any worse than it was. Callum was being bullied mercilessly at many of the schools he attended. Parkside came to the rescue, really, because Callum had been out of mainstream school for many months. His self-esteem has rocketed, his confidence has soared, and academically, he's doing so well. Thanks. And he's so much happier there, and he's a changed, changed young man. Parkside is a pupil referral unit for young people between the ages of 14 and 16. We work with youngsters with mental health issues uh, and associated medical issues. Um, it gives people like Callum the opportunity to work in a perhaps a more relaxed, flexible way um, to mainstream. So what colour flame test do you expect for compounds of potassium? Lilac, crimson, orange, yellow, blue, green. ICT is bedded throughout lessons in Parkside. Every subject uses ICT. The fantastic thing is that we have laptops in a pool bank that students can take to every lesson or as part of lessons. So we have a wireless system which they can link into at any time. And for, particularly for Callum, he, he particularly enjoys the, the ability not to have to redraft work too many times. And the finished product looks very neat and you can import stimulus and visual stuff that makes the work very presentable. It helps Callum because he can learn where he wants to, when he wants to. So therefore, if he needs time out of a class, he can go and log on into the kitchen where it's quieter and he can work on his own. He can still access the lesson and he can still access all the resources, but it gives him that flexibility to think he's having a bad day, he can go somewhere else and work. I think it's brilliant. There's so much to do. We've got lots of ICT resources that we use across the curriculum within schools. We've got the Nintendo DSs, which is used to embed maths and English for pupils. We've also got the Wii, which is used in our fitness studio. Uh, we've got the IMAX that we use for garage band and photo and video editing, etc. It adds a new dimension to the teaching and learning, and it engages the pupils a bit better. But it's not only the students who benefit from the embedded ICT at Parkside. We're going to become a paperless school because all our information will then be held within our VLE, which means all our staff and our students and our parents can access that information from within school but also from their home. The VLE is a wonderful concept and it's helped me hugely. I'm able to liaise with the school and to know exactly what's going on in the day-to-day -day routine regarding timetables, homework, events that crop up. Um, it's a really good tool for parents to be able to access because our, our children don't always inform us of what's going on. I work with a small budget and consequently there's a limit to the amount of face-to-face -face teaching that we can do. So we use video conferencing for instance as a means to offer Spanish to uh, groups of young people. Hola Callum, Spanish lessons are different because the um, teacher is stationed in Wales at the moment and she comes on with this special video conferencing thing. She can see us and we can see her. We can also see what off Microsoft Word document she's got on and, you know, we take it step by step. We believe that Parkside is really a school of the future and which gives opportunities for all young people to succeed. We wrap the curriculum and what we do around the individual. We personalise their education. We give them opportunities to learn anywhere, any place, any time, uh, in all sorts of environments. We encourage them to work in the classroom, out of the classroom, at home, wherever they feel is appropriate for them. And Callum has, uh, I think, found his niche here that he wouldn't have actually been able to have had in mainstream. Out of interest, you won't really be able to edit or cut any of this because technically, because my legs are moving, you're going to have to do a hell of a lot of work to get them in exact sequence. 